uh, if you don't watch the previous video, I recommend that you do so, or this will not make much sense and be confusing to follow. To recap, this is a drill on diagram conditional rules from pages 138 to 149 of the Blueprint to LSAT Logic Games book, and will greatly help your understanding of conditional phrases that are guaranteed to appear. If you are planning on taking the LSAT, you definitely need to understand these concepts to avoid making common logical fallacies, such as converses, uh, of sufficient and necessary conditions. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, first, I will let you view the questions, and then we can work on them together. And I recommend you have some scratch paper, and seeing if you can figure them out for yourself. Uh, a key reminder that there are four main terms. If, only, if and only if, and unless. So, let's get started. Here's the next sentence. Conifers are not in the forest if spruces are not in the forest. Okay. If spruces are not in the forest. If. So, so far, it's running pretty easy. Spruces are not in the forest. Conifers are not in the forest. And we negate it. Simple as that. Now I'm going to start running by these because we understand the concept now. So make sure you pause the video uh, if you want to try them yourselves. If not, we're just going to keep on rolling. If St. Nick is not on the red team, then the Easter Buddy must. So, if he's on the red team. So, Nick, red team, cross out. Easter Buddy must be on the red team. So, the bunny is on the red team. Switch negate. Very simple. Bam. There you go. So, if the bunny is on red team, then Nick is on red team. Only champions from the first round make it to the showcase showdown. Remember the term only uh, is part is actually uh, the opposite of the term if. So only champions from the first round make it to the showcase showdown. So this is the necessary and that's the sufficient. So remember the S to N equation. Uh, we're basically going to say make it to showcase showdown. Uh, if you're a champion. So, uh, if you are not champion, then you won't be your city on showdown. Simple as that. I made a mistake, and the champion is supposed to be from the first round. That's my fault. Just want to uh, make that clear. So, really, this should be an F, so you have to be from the first round. Just that's how it should properly look. Either way, it's, just, it's basically the same thing. So, anyways, only if this term uh, is similar, is exactly the same as only. So, this is the necessary, that's a sufficient, S to N equation. And I will only wear a speedo. Speedo, if he is only if he is thoroughly waxed. Help you getting the hang of this. Uh, I'm tired of doing these ones. <laughs> okay, I'll do I'll do it quickly. Only if the mm, 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 mm. be at the party, only if there's jungle juice, no jungle juice, no brandy at the party. Only oh man. Second panel. So uh be trimming on the second panel. First panel. So uh uh if you're chairman uh you could be a chairman of the second panel. Uh when you're a member of the first panel, so if you're not from the first panel, you cannot be, yeah. If, but only if. So this is the, the one where it's actually like that. So James bid, bids on the vacation, only if Dwight, so James, Dwight. You don't really need to write the contrapositive, but it's the same thing. J, Dwight, you just negate it. If it only if it, okay, so. We're getting the hang of this, aren't we? Uh, let me just add the contrapositive in case you understand. So you switch and negate. It doesn't matter though, because if and only if uh, they're both the uh, sufficient and necessary clause, so they're just going to be the same thing but negated. Unless now this is the term I was waiting for. Unless uh, Henry end up wins an award. So remember what I said the term after unless is the sufficient, before is the necessary. Now this is important. So now we have to switch to fit our S to N equation. So unless Henry Ender wins award. So now we change this. Remember, remember also from the other videos, we have to change unless to if not. So if Henry Ender does not win an award, 
So if so, Henrietta doesn't win an award. Doesn't win, and the necessary cost is the same. G cannot win. So basically, Henrietta doesn't win. G cannot win. So what has to be the contrapositive? Gertrude wins, it means Henrietta won. Uh, obviously we know this is sufficient, this is the necessary. So unless Y is not selected. So uh, if, and then we're, if not, we have to replace unless with if not. So we have to replace a sufficient condition. So if Y, so if not, if Y is not not selected, so basically, if y is selected, remember the s to n equation, sufficient to necessary. So if y is not not selected, so if y is selected, x is selected. So if x isn't selected, y is not selected. This is why the term unless can be tricky, but luckily we know the concepts to help mitigate this trickiness. Next is 13. Uh, there's also a symptom of that, so... Uh, this isn't necessary, and then we reverse it. Very, very simple stuff. I mean, this isn't this isn't rocket science. Uh, remember, the term any is part of the if, so this has to be sufficient, and then after that has to be the necessary. Only people from France shower uh, irregularly. Okay, so see irregularly uh, people from France. So let's just put I don't know people P for people, or you could put F for France. This is two F for France. That sounds better because we have to rewrite the word if and. That's aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, lost my train of thought. Very regular. So, you know, contrapositive. Switch, negate. Uh, if you're not a person from France, uh, you probably shower regularly. Basically, what it's saying. Number 15. Uh, basically, let's see. Model 1 wears a purple dress unless. So, another uh, little tricky. So, unless. has to be sufficient. This is the... Uh, uh, this is the necessary. Um, da, 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 da. So I would say yellow dress by model three. Uh, the purple dress by model one is going to be wearing it. So anyway, uh, if model three does not wear the yellow dress, does not, that's why it's negated. Uh, model one wears a purple dress. We switch it, obviously. Uh, if model one isn't wearing the purple dress, then that means model three is wearing the yellow dress. You know, this is very simple stuff. Number 16, if the USA wins a gold medal, uh, then Russia wins uh, the bronze medal. I mean, this is just a simple if, right? So here we go. U with the gold, R with the, the bronze, catch the L, and then you, know, you negate it as well. Don't forget to negate. It's an ugly B. Uh, yeah, we got to negate it. So uh, if Russia uh, doesn't win the bronze medal, it means the USA doesn't win the gold medal. Uh, the turtles exhibit at the zoo only if, so only if, which means this is the necessary, that's insufficient. Turtle, uh, no unicorn, uh, unicorn, no turtle. 18. Uh, the brownies is a six course dinner during, during uh, whatever, so. Uh, sorry, I should have sufficient, necessary. I mean, I hope I don't have to keep pointing that out. But if I do, I'm going to keep pointing it out. Sufficient, necessary. If, the if clause. Whatever comes after the if is a sufficient. Anything, the remainder clause, the remainder clause is a necessary clause. Anyway, if the brownie is a six course dinner, then tilefish must be the third course. So tilefish, third course. Negate. Switch and negate. If tallfish is not the third course, that means brownie is not the sixth course during dinner. Okay, uh, Peter and Rachel, but but only if, if, but only if. So we already know what this means. Super easy. They're both a sufficient and the necessary clause. Very easy. Uh, if either accepted, then they're accepted. Uh, if one isn't accepted, the other isn't accepted. You know, it's easy stuff. Easy stuff. 20. Uh, basically, the horn toad race is a third destination if the if, if, so this is a sufficient, that's a necessary. 
two. If not third, not third, it means it's third. If this is not third, it means the, uh, the uh, yeah. Uh, if the monster truck is not third, horn is the horn toad race is the third. Uh, if we switch it, the horn to, uh, horn toad race is not the third destination. It means the monster truck rally is the third destination. Okay, so brain matter. It's, it's an if, so it's sufficient, necessary. The fourth toy is green, only if the sixth toy is purple. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, if you need to explain, only if uh, necessary, sufficient, uh, basically sufficient. So S to N, so G. P, which is the sixth toy, and that's the fourth toy. Uh, basically, saying um, if the fourth toy is green, then the sixth toy is purple, right? And then, you know, the contrapposite. Uh, Joey cannot attend the party unless, so, uh, so Ross, uh, if Ross is not attending the party, uh, Joey is not. Sorry if you can't read my ugly handwriting. But you, like I said, you replace unless with the turn if not. Remember that after unless, it's the sufficient. So this is the necessary clause. Uh, basically, it's all bad. Uh, he is not at the party. Joey can't be at the party. Joey's at the party. And Ross is at the party. Right? A little friend's reference. I like that. All right, 24. If curling is scheduled for Wednesday, then the, schedule, then the skeleton... Is scheduled for Friday. Uh, very self-explanatory. Curling Wednesday, skeleton Friday. Uh, Jessica's featured in every skit. Yep. It's just it's, it's, it's very it's very simple. It's very simple. Good. We got the room together. They are important, so make sure because like I said, these will be on the L set. These will be on uh, these. Are going to be how it's phrased so i totally recommend this book uh, to help you on logic games uh it's also reviewed it also has very very good reviews uh, on amazon and other uh, other websites distributing websites uh so yes i recommend you get this book it'll help you with your studies and i will see you guys next time